and strong through the storm through the night lead me on to the light take my hands precious lord lead me home when my day grow dear precious lord linger near when my life is almost gone hear my cry hear my call hold my hands lest i fall take my hand precious lord lead me home precious lord take my hand lead me on help me stand i am tired i am weak i am on through the storm through the night lead me on to the light take my hand precious lord Lead me on, precious Lord. Take my hand, lead me on, help me stand. I am tired, I am weak, I am one. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Pleasant good day to my family in Christ. Peace be unto you from God the Father Almighty. It's my pleasure to be here today to give you thanks, praise, and to thank you for all what you have done for the Ark of the Covenant and all those who have listened to the song of my voice. I want to greet you in the mighty name of Jesus, the soon coming King. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. God has been good to us, brethren. Through the storm, through the storm, he has blessed us. You know, he keep us standing strong. In my tired time and in my weak time, when I feel that I cannot go, I hear the song in my head daily. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, help me stand. I am tired, I am weak, I am worn. Through the storm, through the night, lead me on to the night. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home when my way grow there. Precious Lord, linger near when my life is almost gone. Take my hear my cry, hear my call, hold my hand lest I fall. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home. Yes, my brethren in Christ, what a mighty God we serve. During this Christmas season, God has been good to us. Some, some of us some of us not really understanding how good God is in our lives, you know. But I want to tell you today that God is the mighty God. He's the God yesterday, today, and forever. And he will be called the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting father, and the prince of peace. This is what was told to us. He will be called. He will be. And today in our life, brethren, we are seeing it. We are seeing the things that are going on in our lives, regardless of what go on now, what trials, what tribulation that we are walking through. Remember, he will be called the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting father and the prince of peace. Today, my beloved brethren, Jesus is the prince of peace of Israel, the prophet. Jesus fulfill the prophecy when he called when he was called to earth 
to bring light and salvation to those living in the land of the shadow of death. We are in the shadows of death at this time. So we have to keep our eyes on the mark and we have to call upon the Lord with all our strength and all our power. Today the virus is taking over one more time. We have a surge coming. So remember, brethren, precious Lord, take my hand. Hold me, Lord, lest I fall. We need that wonderful counselor. We need the God of yesterday, today, and forever. We need him every, every passing hour. There is no time to waste. The time is now. We are about in to step into the new year. Some of us may not make it there. We don't know who the arrow is pointing to at this time. But my words to, do, to you today is to hold on to the Lord with all your might and all your strength and all your courage. Serve God with your whole heart, your body, your soul and your spirit for we don't know what the time and the hour that the Lord is going to put in his appearance. You know, the word of God said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are the people and the sheep of his pastor. Enter within the gates with thanksgiving and into the court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his holy name for the lord is good and his mercies endure it forever today brethren we know that the lord is good and his mercies endure it forever but in all what we know we have to do our part if i pray for you you need to pray for yourself and you need to ask for what you need we are about to make resolution at this time. One of the resolutions that we should make is to serve God with our whole heart, our body, our soul, and our spirit. For he, God, is no respecter of person. My job here is to encourage you to continue on the journey. And on this journey, we know that there is some, you know, some ways that we have to change and some attributes that we need to, to, to receive and in order to receive that, we have to do some purging. Because the time is now. So we need to take a good look at our inside as we are about to bring in the new year. I lost uh, one of my members, which really took a, uh, <laughs> made me take a good look at mankind. The young woman was a woman of God. She had all the attributes that I think that you need in order to get there. But she chose not to take the virus. That was her choice. She chose not to take the vaccine. It was her choice. Today, brethren, we all have choices. But my Bible tells me, give unto Caesar what is Caesar and give unto God what is God. So today, my beloved brethren and my friends who are out there, who are going among it, among our loved ones, remember to take the vaccine. It is your choice if you didn't take it. I'm not forcing you, but I'm saying, be careful because you don't know what you come, who you're going to come in contact with. You don't know what's going on around us. So today, my brethren, I want you to ask God to hold your hand because we don't know. Keep your eyes on the mark. Remember salvation is free. But you have to work for it. When we say it's free. Not that type of free that we are speaking about. Where, where, where you sow is where you are going to reap. So it's according to the life in which we live. It's according to the walk in which we walk. And according to our ability to serve with gratitude. I am here again this evening to encourage you, to encourage you to stand firm in the liberty where you 
will find you, Lord, where we're able to set free, obey the commandments of God. The Bible said to love even one another as I have loved you. He said, no greater love have no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friend. Today, brethren, choose. We're talking about friendship. We're talking about love. We're talking about togetherness. We're talking about hope. I am here to tell you love love your brother as you love yourself do not be deceitful and hypocrite this is what god asks of us he said love e one another as i have loved you this is not teacher martha saying this is the word of god love me the way you love yourself and if you love me the way you love yourself all things going to be okay because what you want for you is what you're going to want for me bless the lord at all times Live with gratitude. Remember to give God thanks and praise. Remember to bless your brothers and sisters. Remember to encourage them. Give them a word of consolation on this journey where we all sin and come short of the glory of God. Do not be... Do, you know, do not be one that... That take all the fame for yourself. Do not want the spotlight only on you. But remember, have the, the spotlight must be on each and every one of us while we continue on this journey. Today, brethren, what is not about you and me, but it's about Jehovah God. It's about putting your hand to the plow. Sometimes the serve is not easy because we are dealing with each other. And most of the time, nobody wants you to tell them anything, even though it's the right thing. You see them going down the road, you see they're going to get bones the head, and you can't tell them because they have an attitude. And we want to stay in good grace, so we will not open our mouth. Today, brethren, I want to tell you, that devil that you serve in is a liar. Because you know what? The Bible tells us today, that are you, the, uh, are, you, are you your brother's keeper? And you have to make up your mind whether you are your brother's keeper. When we become our brother's keeper, then we get insult, we get embarrassment, we get all different type of things because the truth hurts. So today, my beloved brethren, in order to walk this walk, you have to put on the breastplate of righteousness and you have to make sure to show that what the word of God said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. And the same thing that you want for you, you must want it for your friend. Today, my beloved brethren, I thank in God for those that are listening to the song of my voice. Whatever state and condition you are in at this time, I know that the Lord is my keeper. The word of God says, serve the Lord with gladness. He says, serve the Lord with thanksgiving. Bless the Lord at all times because the Lord blesses you. Knock and the door shall be opened. Seek and you shall find. At this present time, you must know what changes that you want to make in your life. Regardless of what happened, I am here to tell you, change, changes are there for human beings. This is, what it, this is what it's there. So that we, when we know that we made mistakes, when things gone wrong, we must be able to say, I am sorry. We must be able to go through the pain. We must be able to go through the trials. We must be able to go through, the, go through all these things and have hope. Because you know when you're wrong, and you're conscious of, you have to be conscious that you was wrong in order to make change. Unless you are conscious of the mistakes you make, there is no way that you would be able to be advanced to recognize, to do something different. First to begin, you must acknowledge your transgression before God. And I am here to tell you, at this time, where we celebrating Christmas and the birth of Christ and all these different things that we are doing, remember if this is the birth of Christ where we celebrated, then we need to do something. We cannot keep putting the nail in, pounding the nail in the hand and saying, I'm here to celebrate. We celebrate victory. And the victory is in your life, what you have done, how you have made it better, how you have made it better for. There is so many people suffering in the hospitals at this time with this COVID and this, this surge that is coming. We need to show that love by protecting ourselves and others. We cannot add to the problem, but we have to, we have to rise to the occasion in order to do well. 
Jesus says that I am the true vine and my father is the husband man. Let us try today to, to plug into the vine so that we will be able to gain strength and that DNA is going to travel from, from that root into you and able to build you into a decent human being. Today, we know what God wants of us. We know what we want of ourselves. It must have balance. Remember to balance your life. No matter what going on in your life, we have to balance knowing that we serve a living God. You know, the word, you have a little, a little sanky in, in, in the hymn book that we, we, we read at times that it says, um, I found a new life. I found a new life. If anyone asks me, what's the matter with you, my friend? Tell them that we are saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost saved, water baptized, Jesus is mine. I found a new life. We have to we have to show mankind that we find a new life and that life is giving us grace and glory and hope. You know, gratitude. Because we know we can't walk into Jerusalem just like that. We can't just walk in and take a seat to sit at the master's table just like that. We have to be sanctified, qualified for the purpose. And then and only then will we be able to, to be chosen to sit at the master's table. It don't come just like that. So we have to remember what the word of God says. You know, this train is a holy train, this train... This train is a holy train, this train, this train is a holy train, everybody rise in Jesus name, this train, this train. You want to able to hop on the train, but in order to hop on the train, you have to make sure that you find a new life and you know that you, you sanctify and you're water baptized and you're ready to walk in, in righteousness, you're ready to walk in holiness for the wages of sin is death and the gift of God is eternal life. This is time for change. Man falling, man falling like, you know, like plums from the tree. Green one, yellow one, all falling. The death now is not for, it's not for the all, it's for everybody. It's time to take stock of our goods and make sure that you'll be able to stand and say, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, I'll be a living, sanctify me. Oh, oh, Lord, prepare me, Lord, prepare me. To be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary for me. So we have to ask God to do this work into us because we are not capable of, we are not disciplined enough to be able to, able to walk according to the will of God. So we need the Lord to be as, as, as the wind beneath our wings so that we will be able to call upon him. You know, the, the word of God said, knock and the door shall be open, seek and he shall find. But in order to knock, you have to be in one accord with God for you to able to hear. The word of God said, the sheep know the master voice and the master know the sheep by name. Any and anybody can knock because God has to be acquainted with you in order to hear you. And it's not like you're dealing with me or a friend. Remember, he is the... <laughs> He's the Prince of Peace. He's the wonderful counselor. We don't get in there just like that. So my words to you today, brethren, is to stay focused. Is to stay focused on the Lord. Think before you speak. Know from whence cometh your help. Know that the Lord is God all by himself and he doesn't need any help from you or me. All we need to do is to walk according to his will. So that when the time come, that you and I may not ask the unclean spirit where is our God. But we will continue 
to persevere in holiness and meekness. And we're going to remember the, the, this little song key that he said. Standing by me, my Lord, standing by me. Standing by me, my Lord, standing by me. Standing by me, standing by me. Jesus of Nazareth is standing by me. Standing by me, my Lord, standing by me. Standing by me, my Lord, standing by me. Standing by me, standing by me. Jesus of Nazareth is standing by me. You have to be confident to know who's standing by you. Who is your supporter's strength? You have to be able to know. For you know the Lord is not slack concerning his promises. And I want to tell you what you sow is what you're going to reap. You know, when, when I was growing up, my spiritual parents used to sing this, this song to me all the time. You know, he touched my finger with a golden pen, a golden pen, a golden pen. He touched my finger with a golden pen, sign my name up there. Sign my name, sign my name up there. Sign my name, sign my name up there. Oh, he touched my finger with a golden pen, a golden pen, a golden pen. You touch my finger with a golden pen, sign my name up there. We want our name to be to be written in the in the wonderful book, that book that you know that the Lord God is going to be opening to read our record. We want our name in there. This is not funny. It's not a joke. But I want my name there. And I know that I want my brothers and my sisters and all those the well wishers. We want our name to be written in the Lamb Book of Life. We want that when the Lord comes, we don't ask no unclean spirit, where is our God? But we will able to say, Thou good and faithful servant. Today, brethren, keep your, keep your eyes on the mark. Keep your eyes on the mark. You have to know this walk that we walk in. You know the little song he said, I found a new life. I found a new life. If anyone asks me, what's the matter with you, my friend? Tell them that you are saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, water baptized. Jesus is mine. I found a new life. We have to show that you found a new life. Your, 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 your conversation must be different. Your dress code must be different. Your, 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 you know, we must be able to walk as light so that when man see us, they may be able to glorify the Father which is in heaven. And man may be able to say, I want to serve the same God he's serving. I want to serve the same God she's serving because they see a light in you. So today, my beloved brethren, keep your eyes up. Remember to em embrace the body of Christ in your life. You want that when you're walking, even though you're faced with hardship, even though you're faced with death in the family, no matter what's going on, you will continue to say, I found a new life. I found a new life. If anyone asks me, what's the matter with you, my friend? Tell them that you are saved, sanctified, water baptized. Jesus is mine. I found a new life. Because when you found a new life, there is changes coming you that man just can't get. You know, anyone that is not walking, Walking righteously have a problem you know they always find it a fault something always wrong but I want to tell you put that on the back burner because and put that in the hands of God let God deal with that but focus is the you know focus on on the will focus on the on the will and the will to change to be a better person that you will become a light unto someone else today remember that we are here be careful as we make these promises that you are about to make. Remember, remember who you are. We all have different type of experience. I have my own, you have yours. We all going through the shadows of death. But you know what? I fear no evil for thou art with me. Because he tell that he run and the staff will comfort me. He will not leave me comfortless. So the same words that I am reading here, I want you to read it. And I want you to put it in perspective in your life. And able to find to say, I find a new life. Not what teacher Martha say, but the word of God said. When you are, when you are called, when you drink of the living water, the Bible said you shall never thirst. But you have to drink. You have to drink. 
You can't pretend to drink. You can't lie you drink. You have to drink because when you drink, the changes come from the inside out. That is when men do see the good work and able to glorify the Father which is in heaven. Today, Christ, let not the Christ in your life die for no reason. Let the Christ in your life that you serve, let his death mean something in your life. And let his birth mean something in your life. He born that you and I may have life and have it more abundantly. Remember Mary, you know, when the, when the angel tell him, Mary, you are pregnant. She said, how? Oh, how that could happen? That's impossible. But the angel made sure that he assure her that she has that she is carrying the Prince of Peace, the wonderful counselor, the everlasting father. He makes sure that she was carrying our savior, the one that come to save us, the one that died that you and I, you and I, you know. Not for the, it's not a one side God. It's not a, a, the son, the son of, you know, he came for the purpose. The word of God tells us that the Lord, the Lord gave his only begotten son. None of us are giving the only child to nothing for nobody. Even when Jesus was here, he was doing the Lord's work and his mother was calling. He said, woman, don't you know I'm on my father's business? In those days, those words not, was not bad to say to your mother. But as a woman, you know, you, 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 it's your child. So when you see things, you, you, your heart yearn. So he had was to bring her to consciousness to let her know that I am here for a purpose. And the purpose is a ripening fast and folding every hour. What are you, what is your purpose? I know mine. What is yours? And because I know mine and I'm confident with mine, man cannot deter me anywhere. So those of you who are listening to the song of my voice, I don't know what your resolution is going to be, but be careful. Keep your eyes on the creator, not the creature. Remember the creature is sinful, you know. So you don't want your eyes to focus on the creature, but you want your eyes to focus on the creator. The Lord that promised us that he will give us a kingdom. He said, if you give me your heart, I, God, will give you a kingdom. But, in, but brethren, the problem comes because we do not want to give God our, we want to give him, you know, but we do not want to give God our whole heart. And that is what he asks. He asks us to, for peace of it. He asks for the whole heart. He wants all of us. All of you. All. All. And we, 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 we are creatures that don't like to give up all. We want to always hide something for what reason or the other. You know, many a times, I don't know if you are, you know, some people can remember in churches, you know, the... <laughs> When I was growing up in church, sometimes it have sweet bread and different things and they hide in it. And they forget it, stay and it suffer. What is the sense we hide in? What we hide in for? Don't hide nothing from the Lord. Because you're wasting time because the Bible tells us that he see and knows all things. So what we hide in is just a waste of time. He know every step you take, he know every breath you breathe. Sometimes it makes me smile when I'm thinking about something that I said, then I catch myself, what is the sense? The word of God tells us he's the reader of our heart and the search of our mind. Before we even do it, he already understands what we're about to do. So what is the sense? Live free. Live free. My deceased daughter used to say, God is in charge. No matter what going down, she said, teach, God is in charge and the devil is a liar. That is real for everybody. We all have to pass through. It's what we leave behind. It's those of us that left behind to pick up the pieces, 
to put the puzzle together that is where the story lies so today my be bre- my beloved brethren those of you who are listening to the song of my voice fix your business put it in place don't be frightened about that the bible tell us man that is born of a woman man that is born of a woman must die sister tasha gone in a, in a place where the bible tell us in revelation there will be no night there will be no sorrow and there will be no pain could you imagine we wouldn't be suffering with cancer diabetes high blood pressure there is none of that there he said he wants us with a broken and a contrived heart he wants us pure He wants us without without spot and blemish. And we all have some spot and blemish that we need to clean out. It's not I to enter within that place where he go to prepare for us. I want to tell you, he said he wanted to be clean. We must be numbered. We must be sealed. Any and anybody cannot enter. Don't let nobody fool you and give you no Nancy story and tell you that from the time you raise up your hand and you tell God, no. The Bible tell us, hear what the word of God said. He said, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. There must be some transformation must take place. He said, baptism is a death unto sin and a new birth unto righteousness. The word of God said, repent, believe, and then. He said, knock and the door shall be open. Seek and you shall find. How many times we knock in? But our heart is not indicted in a good matter, so the door cannot open. You know, just the other day I spoke on what they call I'm walking hand in hand. In order to able for the door to open, you have to able to have the right key. So you have to have the right keys. It means that you have to walk hand in hand with God. So when you knock, the Lord will answer. Because he, he knows the sum of your voice. He's acquainted with you. And when he pull up your chart now, we don't have to worry because you know what? You're walking with him. You're walking. You're doing his will. You're singing outside. You're saying, you know what? He, 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 out, out, outside you're singing, I found a new life. I found a new life. If anyone asks me, What's the matter with you, my friend? Tell them that you are saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, water baptized, Jesus is mine and found a new life. You must be able to say that with a bold assurance that I am not sitting in the seat of the scornful anymore, but I am planted by the river that I may keep fresh and green, that when any hungry soul pass by, they will get something to feed upon. Brethren, those words mean something. You know what it is sometimes you're seeing someone going every day they're walking and just one day one day you just say one nice word to them and the smile that you see on the face you feel good within yourself all you have to say have a blessed day and you will hear the word thank you and mean it when we speak to our brothers we must able to mean it if you cannot say something good don't say nothing at all if something is wrong say it wrong if something is right say it right don't concosa when we serve in god there is no concosa in it many a times people talk about oh the language is made this one listen we speaking so that we can understand there was money they will them i don't want it to be an excuse that we don't understand everybody could understand what you're saying man find problems and start to give Remarks because you know what they don't want to make the change so they have to find a fault with something So feel free But remember The wages of sin is death and the gift of God is eternal life stretch your hand He said his eyes his eyes is not blind his ears is not deaf and his hands is not short He's right there waiting for you to stretch your hand so that you may be able to hold on to the vine because you know where the vine come. Jesus is the vine. So be strengthened in the name of the Lord. You know, brethren, as we coming down to this time here, what we call old years and what people call New Year's Eve, where 
We want to light a light for a friend and one for ourselves. Today we want to give something to a friend. Some friend, not a family, you know, a friend, somebody that you know, somebody that you can see. But you want to ask God to enlighten the darkness that they may be able to walk in the light. You don't know what state and condition they are. Some might be sick, some might be sad. So we want to light a light all year's night for and if for any individual, if you're choosing, brethren, those of you who are listening to the song of my voice, and you want to light a light, go to the channel, and you're going to find where we're going to put it out there, where you're going to send the name, you're going to send your $10 for the light, and we will be able to put the light for your friend in the name of Jesus Christ, the righteous. A light just to shine. Remember, the light is just a symbol, you know. The light is just a symbol. Of our appreciation for our friend. Our appreciation for the words that we may get from that friend. Our appreciation from that person that, that hold us up when we are sinking. The light is for, for that person to say that, you know, I didn't get here just so. Somebody has shine a light so that I will be able to walk. As the word of the 23rd Psalm said, Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I shall fear no evil. For the what with thee, somebody shine a light for I to walk. I didn't just get up and reach here. Teacher Olga, teacher, teacher Jones, and all these people, they open a road for me. And I want to open a road for someone else. And those of you who are listening, and you could afford to do that for a friend, even though you don't have, send the message. We don't put a light for a friend. Send the name. We want to call out the name. We want the angels to, re to rejoice. At this time, where, where the virus is still rampant in part of the countries and part of the world, where man is still not taking it, whatever, what, what, whatever it be. But my words to tell you is to stand strong. Hold on to your faith. Trust the Lord with all your might. Lean not unto your own understanding. But in all things, worship God and worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Abide by the rules. Don't give up. Don't give up regardless of what is happening. Don't give up. Keep, keep your hand on the door. Open the door. Keep your hands there. You know, in, in, in this lesson, the Lord said, um, he had a word. And it says here, greater love had no man than this, that he laid down his life for his friend. He are my friend. If he do whatsoever, I commanded you. Henceforth, I call you not servant. For the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friend for, for all things that I have heard. Of my father I have made known unto you he have not chosen me but I have chosen you and ordain you that you should go and bring forth fruits and that your fruits should remain that what Whatsoever he shall ask of the Father, this is it, for whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it unto you. All these things I command you, he love one another. If the world hate you, he know that it hate me before it hated you. So the word of God said, if we were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of this world, therefore the world hated you. Today, brethren, in my, in my walk and in my tarry, one of the things that I have learned when you meet someone that is walking according to God's will, you're able to speak the same language with them. When you meet someone who is not ready to walk that walk, 
Man condemn what they don't understand. Do not be discouraged. Excuse me. Do not be discouraged, but continue to give a word. Continue. Because you are there for the purpose. And when the Lord sent us out to do a job, remember the job does not be easy. He chooses who he wants to send to do this particular job. For instance, you know, I have a friend that had to pass on, you know, someone die and leave them in charge. Executive over. And when the time come for them to do the job, the job was too hard for them. So they, they turned their back. So we have to know who God give any job to do. Anytime God give a job, you does not get tired, you know. You know, they have a little sack. He said, don't get tired of good, uh, uh, of doing well, of doing good. When you do good, you just feel good within yourself. Don't get tired. Yes, yes, it's going to be tough. Sometimes we have to carry water up and down the stairs for someone. Sometimes you may have to help someone pay their rent. Sometimes you might have to help someone buy food. Sometimes in the cold weather, you might have to leave and go and give someone a word of consolation. You might have to study with that individual. Today we have Zoom. Today we have phone. We can call. There is always a place to meet hand in hand. There is always. We just have to work at it. You cannot, you know, I always say, when you hear your ears are sold, they are in the Lord. When you hear your ears are sold, they are for God. There is no time for rest. The Lord give us one day. This day you want us to serve him in spirit and in truth. Give your all to God. All. If you're going to the church for two hours, make sure that that two hours you go to worship God. If you're home in your house and you want to, you're going to have service, make sure if it's two hours, one hour, all oh, turn off the stove, turn off this and take in the service of the Lord. Bless brethren, we are on a trial, you know, right? All of us here are on trial, you know. All of us that listen to my voice and those who are not listening, we are all on trial. The Lord, the Lord watching us to see what we're doing. We are on a trial. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Don't condemn a man because he's holding on. You try and hold on to. And remember, on Christ, the solid rock you stand, all of that ground is sinking sand. No God for yourself and not another. You pick up your Bible and start to read the word of God. Study to show yourself approved. The Lord is not slack concerning his promises. What he says he will do, he will do. I am I am the here understanding that the, I am I am here understanding the word of God. And the word of God said, He said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh to the Father but by me. So we know he didn't tell us we are going over here. We ain't going on the side. We're not going under. We have to go through. Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I shall fear no evil. If you go through, there is light at the end. Of course, it's not going to be easy. My question for you, why are you hiding? Why are you hiding? Brethren, stop hiding. The Lord sees and knows all things. So the time you're taking to hide and to do this, you're wasting time. You're taking time. You're taking time from your precious time that God give you. And time lost could never, you could never regain. Hence the reason I always say to my members and friends who will listen to the song of my voice. When someone is taking time off out of their schedule to help you, you must be, you must have gratitude. They don't have to. They have their own life to worry about. 
So when someone take time out of their busy set schedule to help you in some form, we must have gratitude. And that same way, we will be able to appreciate our Savior, our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Take some time to listen to the word of God. Take some time to reason with yourself. Take some time to understand. Thus said the Lord, what does it mean for you? And today, remember, you pray for me and I pray for you. None of us is exempt. We all are fighting to get on to that, to, to that holy place that he said he got to prepare for us. I too is in the line. I teach a mother is in the running. I ain't get there yet. I ain't no crumb on my head. I still sin and come short of the glory of God. But I'm fighting to get there. You know, I'm trying on to, you know, they said, um, you know, you have to put on your, your lily white robe. I'm trying to get the robe on. I'm trying to get the robe on me. But you see, the word of God said, you know, not one jot, not tickle to the enter into the promise. So how are we going to put on the white robe when we still dirty inside? The Bible said cleansiness is next to godliness. So in order to put on this lily white robe and able to sit at the master's table, we must be without spot and blemish. And as I said that, I want to tell you, let no man tell you that it is impossible to do that. That devil is a liar. It is not impossible to serve God. Although we live in the flesh, it is not impossible. The Lord is not going to tell his children anything that is impossible for them to do. The Lord is not slack concerning his promises. And he not as, you know, the Lord, the, the Lord is not going to give us a, a, a bag of wind. The word have power and authority. We just have to give up one for the other. The Bible said we cannot serve two masters at the same time. We're going to love one and hate the other. I, I, I totally understand that. Been there, done that. We're thinking we could do this and still go to church and everything on that. Then you're serving man. You're doing it for man to see. Remember, God is a silent listener to every conversation. And on C9, that's seen all things. We can't fool him. So the only person that we're fooling is ourselves. You know, and some of us are walking dead. Because there is no virtue. There is no light. Remember, God's hands is there. It's open to welcome us. But I call, but in order for him to welcome us, we must be ready to receive him. God is always there. The son is always there. Because remember, you don't get to him just so you know. You have to go through the son to get to the father. So my words to you in this time of pandemic, in this time of Christmas season, in this time of all the different seasons that we celebrate, Hanukkah, different things that we, ce we celebrate. We serve one God. The Lord ain't changing. Yeah, he, not, he, he, he don't have multiple colors. We have that. God don't have multiple colors. The Bible said he's a spirit and those of us that serve him must serve him in spirit and in truth. So keep your mind and your heart in one. You know sometimes brethren the encounter with God strengthen, strengthen our faith. And for that we must be we must be we must have gratitude. The Bible tells us by his stripe we are healed. So we have to understand what you want from God. You have, to, you have to acknowledge now what you want from the Holy Spirit of God. 
one of the things that I understand teaching today, we you, you no matter how you teach, it is so it is so <laughs> sometimes it, it, it is very alarming for me when I watch us that is not willing to listen, is not will is not willing to carry out the rules and orders. But we want to destroy the children when they don't obey us. But we not obeying the master. You know, it said, if you can't control your house, how you could control God's house? If you can't control yourself, how you could control God's house and God's people? If you don't have discipline, how could you discipline God's people? Nobody listening to you? The word of God said it's not what goes in the man defile him, you know. It's what comes out of him. Our body language, our attitude, our behavior tells us who we are. Then we have these, the, 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 these sayings that we have in here. You know, God already know me. This is who I am. The devil is a liar. God didn't make you so. You made yourself that way. Something happened that caused you to be in this state and condition. But the Lord always come when we call. So my words to you, don't matter what, what circumstances you're going through. Don't matter what, what, what is taking place. Don't matter what. There's always a way. There is always a way. The word of God said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness will be added unto you. Do not fear death. From the time we're born... We know that the last stage of man, that is where we go. So we're not worrying about that. We can't stop it anyway. There is nothing to turn it back. There is no clock to turn. There is no pipe to open. There is no tablet to take. Nothing. Nothing. It's a part of our life. This is why we worship. This is why we praise. So that when that time should come, we will be ready. You hear it all. Nobody ready. I will be ready. You will be ready. There is people ready. When the time comes for them, we're ready. What makes us unready is those that we're leaving behind. When you don't do a good job. When you're not sure the job is like sending your children to college. When you're sending your children to college, you have to be, you, you, you have to recognize the job that you did in them. What you, you know, what you give, the tools that you give them so that wherever they go, they will able to use the tools. If you didn't give them good tools, then you have to worry. If I don't teach the children of the Ark of the Covenant and let them know the wages of sin is death and the gift of God is eternal life, then I have to worry. Because you know what? Follow the leader. Sometimes we in the church and we don't want to say anything because you, I don't want to give the wrong... I don't want to give the wrong... In, uh, 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 um. They said, I don't want to give them the wrong message and I don't want to discern them. Then sit to the back of the church and you sit in the congregation. Your job is to deliver the unadulterated word of God. Your job is to walk in the light that men may see the good works and glorify your father which is heaven. Why is that so hard? When we are chosen by God to do a job. If you're not chosen and you choose to pick it up and do it, then feel free, fix up. Then you will do things that is not. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. So my words to you today is to be careful with the Lord in God in which you serve. Stay holy. Stay holy is a word that we're not understanding. Holiness, holiness, brethren, holiness. Feel good within yourself. When you go to bed in the night and you lie on your back and you, you look up to the, to the roof or wherever you are. And you, you open your arms wide and you say, Father, I thank you for the day that I have spent in your name. And whatever, Lord, whatever mistake I make, whatever went wrong, Lord, help me. To make changes as the day go along. In Jesus name. So my beloved brethren at this time. We are about to go into the word of prayer. Where we are going to ask God for his guidance. And his strength and his courage for all our friends and our, our well wishers. Don't forget. You want to light a light for your friend. 
you want and make sure it's your friend make sure it's somebody that you want to see you want to you want the light to open up in their name make sure don't just do it just because with the new year coming i want to able to shine a light out for my brothers and sisters to walk for my friend somebody that i haven't seen in a long time i want to shine a light so where they are because the bible tells us there is no distance in prayer wherever you are we have to touch and agree so today brethren those are you those of you that who are listening to the song of my voice i hope you're understanding the language that i speak and I hope to God that you're covered under the righteousness of the Holy Spirit of God. And that you're walking in, his, in, his, in the salvation of the Lord. Knowing that his grace is sufficient to keep you. They all, there will be always someone to tell you you can't and you can't and you can't. I am here to tell you you will and you could. There is nothing that you cannot do. Fear, God didn't give us no power of fear but of a song mind. I always say this would have no fear as long as God is with me. When you are doing what God asks of you, there is no fear. I don't think we, don't, we must not care what someone else is thinking you know, as long as you are sure that I am walking according to the word of God. This is what he says. It is not easy for me. Sometimes when I see I am, I, you know, my people doing the things and they know what they're doing is wrong, but they're doing it anyway. And then they expect you to forgive them and they expect it. I am not very good at that. Because you know better. And when you know better, you have to do better. Do not encourage people, children in wrong, just to satisfy your ego. And to the children, you know wrong from right. You know in from out. You know up from down. Why are you letting yourself be carried away with every song of doctrine that you know that doesn't that is not your walk you want to walk? That maybe they, they walk, but it's not yours. Do not be a follower, but be a leader. Plan your escape. Plan your walk. You know, every night I lie in my bed before before I, I, I close my eye, I, I, I plan my day. What am I going to do next? Well, when I get up in the morning, this is what I'm going to do. That is what I'm going to do. I plan the day. It don't always run the same way. But I make sure that I do something for the Lord. That day must not pass me empty. It must be a day that I sit down and I watch TV all day. It must be a day I sit down there and lie down and sleep all day. No. I want to tell you something. The sleep of death you will never wake. Use God time that he has given unto you and use it wisely. Because the time will come when you lie down and you cannot get up. Use it wisely. The time that God gives you on the earth. Don't waste it. But bill on it. Bill on it. It's like the talent. You get one, you get two, and you multiply it. Don't sow, don't reap where you're in sow. Toil your own, till your own ground. Plant your own food. Mold it properly. Eat from your own garden. Don't eat from your friend's garden, eat from your own garden. Because if you're eating from your own garden, you plant your own food, you know what produce you're getting. You show what chemical you're putting in there, if it's any at all. You show about the watering of the garden. Take a look. Take a look around you. Make your changes. You know, um... I, just to sister tasha said a word to me one day we was talking and she was speaking about someone talked to her about baptism and she said a word this how come you didn't tell me you wanted to do this she said oh that wasn't your decision that was my decision i had to make a conscious decision the god in which i serve it wasn't about you 
My decision with God was between me because I have to answer to God. I, I, after that, I had no more questions for her. You know, when someone said I didn't, wasn't worried about her because I know her feet was planted on a solid foundation. And I saw that child was given to me by God. I'm positive of that. She wasn't random. The Lord placed me in the right place at the right time. And when I walk out, I walk out with her. And she never look back until God take her home. I want to thank God for that. So my beloved sisters and brothers, wherever you are, whatever garden you plant, plant it in the name of the Lord. For when the Lord come to reap, you will have no problem because you know that you have done your job. So brethren, where you are, let us touch and agree. And let's bow our head in prayer and ask God to continue guiding and keeping us on the straight and narrow track that leads to light. Eternal and ever wise God. Father, I, your servant, come before thee, O God, weak and insufficient. Sin and come short of your glory, Lord. Not worthy to call your name. But I come, Lord, on my bending knees, begging for mercy, Lord. Begging for guidance, begging for forgiveness for wrong that I've committed in your sight. Remember all those that are listening to the song of my voice, Lord, wherever they be at this time and hour. I pray, O oh God, Lord, that you touch their hearts and their mind. I pray, Lord, Lord, that you grant them, Lord, a new, a, a, a new song. Help them at this time, Lord, to have that courage, that strength, that hope to know you better. Remember those that lie on a bed of affliction. Remember those that in the hospital, Jesus. I beg you to smooth their bed and give them rest. I beg you, Lord, to speak to them by the stillness of the night. I beg you be the guardian and the guide and to hear them when they call. I beg you, Lord, this morning, teach them to read and understand. Bless thou the waiting soul and do their body ever good. At this time, and our Lord, remember the Ark of the Covenant and its members. Remember all those that I lay my hands upon, wherever they be at this time, and our Lord. Wherever they be at this time, and our oh God. I beg you to intervene in their life, if thou be so please. Cover them under your own almighty wing. Teach them what they must do and say every minute their strength with you. Father, look at the world at large. Father, look at the pandemic in our houses, Lord. Look at it wherever it's traveling from one to another. But I pray, oh God, Lord, that you will cover us with your own almighty wing. You will leave us not to ourselves alone, but you will be our director this time and hour. Remember the children of the Ark of the Covenant. Remember the youth ministry, Jesus. Remember the little ones, oh God. Father, wherever they be at this time, Lord, may you bless the waiting soul and do their body ever good. Remember the parents, oh Lord. Help the parents, Lord, to guide them and protect them and to bring them up in the fear of God. My God and King this evening, Father, Father, Lord, hear my prayer and answer my prayer, Lord. Remember those on Zoom. Remember those that on Facebook. Remember those, Lord, that is listening to the word. Father, you know their needs. You know their wants. You know they are sitting. But I pray, oh God, that you cover them with your own almighty wing. I pray, oh God, that you put the bloodstained banner of the door. Remember the nursing homes, Jesus. Remember those on the sidewalk, Father. Father, provide for them, Lord. Those that, do, those that are on drugs at this time, Jesus. I pray, oh God, Lord, they intervene. I know that you are a miracle, ma miracle worker. And I know, Lord, that there is nothing that you cannot do. So at this time and our Jesus, I place you, Lord, within my heart. And all those that open their heart to you this evening, smooth bed and give us rest. Jesus, you lover of my soul. Remember all those that my duty bound to pray for. All those that lending a helping hand. Father, Lord, I thank you for Sister Bellamy, oh God. May you bless her waiting soul and do her body ever good. Father, I thank you for the spiritual grandchildren. I thank you, oh God, for the mothers of these children, Jesus. I thank you for my friends, Bishop John, oh Lord. I thank you for Pastor Showin. I thank you for Bishop Sheldon. I thank you for Bishop John. Father, remember the churches, Bishop Kali. Remember the churches in mercy, oh God. Cover us under your blood. Keep us ever abiding in your truth. Remember Sister Val in Trinidad. Remember Mother Val, oh God. Remember Mount Nebo at this time and our Lord. Father, oh bless our waiting soul and keep the body ever good. Father, strengthen our weak frame and help us to build in grace. All my spiritual sisters and brothers, all those that lay hands upon me, 
and thank you this evening lord all well wishes this evening father help us oh god that we may walk this walk and talk the talk remember bishop ash be in mercy cover him under your blood father you know the man even better than i do father lord as i lift the man in grace at this time and our lord heal the body from the crown of the head to the sole of the feet i know lord god that the that you are not slack concerning your promises and i know where thou lead us we will follow i thank you for the offspring of my body father lord oh god i thank you for the offspring of my body oh god bless our waiting soul and do a body ever good remember the companion of her life knit and bind them together oh god remember mother more the same father you know needs and wants you know up sitting you know down rising provide for her lord wherever she be at this time cover her if thou be so pleased lamb of god that take it away the sins of the world graciously hear me this evening lamb of god that take it away the sins of the world graciously hear me oh god father i thank you for my children oh god i thank you for sister ophelia and the companion i thank you for the children lord grant them safe journey back home father lord cover them if thou be so pleased father i thank you this evening and i thank you remember oh god these children of the deceased Father, oh Lord, cover them under the blood. Remember the children of this deceased, oh God. Open away where thou seem to be none. Father, Lord, you know heart, desire, and soul determination. Whoever is taking care of them at this time, cover them, Lord. Bless the home. Bless the family circle, Jesus. Father, you know what I want to tell thee. But all things are possible with thee. You tell me only believe. This evening I believe that thou art God and without you there is no other. Strengthen us, Lord. Remember, Brother Francis, Lord, lying on a bed of affliction. Father, you know the man even better than I do. Lord, you are acquainted with his ups and downs. Father, you know all things concerning him. I pray, oh God, let you guide him, Jesus. I pray, oh God, that you keep him blessed under the bond of peace. Heal the body from the crown of the head to the sole of the feet. Bless his waiting soul and do his body ever good. Father, leave him in your kind care and keep him. And ask your God to watch over us. Not forgetting all those that listen to the song of my voice. Father, this evening, bless their going out and their coming in. Remember their homes. Remember the companions of their life. Remember the offsprings of their body. Father, oh God, help them to teach and teach aright. Help them to bring up decent young women and men in this world. Father, provide for us all. This I ask in no other name, but in Jesus' almighty name. Father, this evening, whatever I fail to grant unto you, Lord. Father, fail not to grant it unto us. Bless us, Lord, our going out and coming in. And continue to teach me, Lord, that I will be able to teach others. This I ask in no other name but in Jesus almighty name amen and today my beloved red, friend brethren sought the Lord while he may be found sought the Lord make sure make sure within yourself that you look to the Lord and live nowhere else keep your my eyes on the Creator and ask yourself the question why do I hide from God why am I hiding we no longer need to hide neither you nor me we no longer need to hide because he's the reader of our heart the searcher of our mind and he sees and knows all things be blessed today, brethren, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Righteous. Heaven bless you. In other name, but in Jesus' almighty name. Amen.